Right, so, quick tip. If you've ever set up a load of uh, VRMs yourself, you'll probably be aware of the process. You get your FBX, you bring it into Unity, you then export it as a VRM, you then bring it back into Unity as that VRM, you work on it, you add all your blend shapes, and get that all up and running, which is all well and good until one of these needs fixed. And then you used to, at least the way I advised in a tutorial, was that you delete it and you'd basically set all these up again. You don't actually have to do that. You'll notice that there's two of them in the scene. This is a true VRM. This is actually a, a proper VRM. This is an FBX. However, it's just simply set up with the same components as uh, the original the original one. And obviously everything's been switched around so that it's actually pulling from the correct uh, bones and such. Now, what this does is this allows us to use this FBX as a stand-in for a VRM. I can now export this as a VRM. You'll see there, it doesn't say there's any issues. It knows what it's looking for. I can actually go and export. We can see there's one there I did earlier, so I'm gonna name this one 1.1. Excellent. I can then go to VC face, avatar selection, add avatar, go to the desktop, find that 1.1, open it, and guess what? It all runs perfectly fine. So what? I, why this is good, is this saves you a lot of time. What it means is, for things like uh, your blend ships, if I want to change eye wide, I can just simply do that in the blend scene and export this as the FBX with the same name, replace the old file, and it will just update it. You don't need to go through the whole filling in every single blend shape every single time you do this. That's obsolete. Don't do that. Use this FBX method instead. There are a few caveats with it. For one, don't use the VRM, exp the t the pose. Pressing this is likely to destroy it. Uh, make sure that when you export from Blender, so file, export, uh, FBX. Make sure that when you export from Blender, it's set to FBX all. Otherwise, your scaling will be wrong. Uh, and all selected objects is optional. Um, other than that, make sure that every single component here uh, that needs to be, which is this one, I'd recommend you change that over to your FBX so it's previewing the right one when you do when you make up changes and updates to it. Um, obviously, your head needs changed, your body needs changed. And everything else, if you use born eyes, obviously they need filled in as well properly. But other than that, that does increase the speed that you can update your models fairly significantly. So again, process for the first version of the model, I'd still recommend you do the same. You bring it in as an FBX, you set it up, uh, you export it as a VRM, you bring that VRM back in and then say on that first one, set it up on that VRM. But then from there, bring your FBX back into the scene, copy all the components over, and from that point, work on the FBX, the original VRMs, just their kind of to hold the data. Okay, any issues, let us know, but hopefully that helps out a bit. See you till next time.